on Lake Michigan, the ice conditions can change daily, even by the hour. Those changing conditions have brought scientists and the Coast Guard together this week to try and better determine ice thickness and if it's safe for travel. NBC 26's Eric Crest has more on the experience. Traveling from Sturgeon Bay to the Bay of Green Bay, there's not a lot of activity in the dead of winter. But the Coast Guard and its 680 ton icebreaker is still responsible for keeping some lanes of traffic open. The Mobile Bay works throughout the entire Great Lakes um, all year round. Uh, in the wintertime, we generally focus our energies on Green Bay, Sturgeon Bay area, uh, the Mackinac Straits. Their goal on board is to make sure freighters that move product or just need repairs can make it back to port despite the ice. We're rated to break 32 inches of plate ice at a constant speed of three knots. But if we do get stopped, we do what's called backing and ramming, where we, we back up about three ship lengths and then we give it full throttle. But today the Coast Guard isn't just opening up lanes for traffic. Today they're teaming up with a group of scientists so that they can better understand this ice. So that anglers, snowmobilers, even freighters can find the safest way to travel in the future. So with this kind of map, you can decide where to go uh, depending on the, uh, the purpose of the operation. The scientists are comparing satellite images with ice samples collected on site to see if they can determine where the safest routes for travel are by only using those images from space. And for each different classes of ice, there are a range of thickness associated with that. So with this kind of map, you can decide where to go uh, depending on the, uh, the purpose of the operation. And while ice conditions can change just like that, by doing research like this, the real goal is to be able to show the Coast Guard, freighters, and fishermen alike how thick the ice is by merely looking at the surface of the lake from above. Keeping you connected on Lake Michigan, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26.